Oh Gabe. my God. Gabe. And you, you behave the way you normally do, please, okay? You do what you normally do. No jump. Sit. Okay. Sit. 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 No jump. No, no, no offense, yeah. Karen. So you can tell me what you think, but that doesn't mean that it's true. Uh, everything that you guys are doing is reinforcing the aggression. You're oh, are we? Yes, ma'am. Can I tell you? Yes, ma'am. We Please may do. be doing a lot wrong. <laughs> good, 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 good. I'm out here in beautiful Bay Cliff, basically like a suburb of Houston near Galveston, and there's a dog saved like a lion out here. But not here. Here I'm picking up a boxer and an Airedale. And I've spoken to her briefly. She's a character, it's gonna be fun. Look, I can already see she has some stuff here, so I'm gonna go ahead and announce myself, yes? And then I'm looking to hear if I hear any dog barking, see how the dogs greet me, if her assessment that she made to me. I hear the dog barking. So that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with the dog barking. It's actually a very good thing. She seems to have an exercise pen there, another thing there, and I think that's like an exercise pen down there. Exercise pens are good ideas, okay? Hello, again, good, good, good. Oh my God, I just saw the boxer puppy. I mean, she's not a puppy, she's two, she's a puppy. She's two years old. Oh my God, she yes. got the cutest little face. I saw her little face there. I, yeah. I didn't see the air though, but he's towering over her, yes? Oh yes. Okay. So they, they, uh, it's a, they're just like regular dogs. Okay. You're here, they're probably not That's normal listen. though, that's normal though. But listen, and I, I'm gonna just see, uh, compare this to how your assessment, and listen, the, 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 I like to come to people's homes because this is gonna give me a good gauge of their real personalities. You drop them off to me, they might behave a little differently, okay? So they listen, they, like mm -hmm. I said, Gage is really smart. Okay. Just to give Gage you, is the Airedale. It's the Airedale. Six and months just old. to show you mm -hmm. how smart, well, almost six months. He's okay. not quite, he won't be five and a half months old till the 27th. Okay. Oh, okay. After Christmas. Okay. Yes. So. Wait, wait. He'll be five months old? Five and a half. Oh my God. Okay. Five and a half months old. So, like with him, how smart yeah. he is. Okay. I have a water. Oh, cooler. shit. That's oh, awesome. He knows. He's trying oh, to. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Pardon me. He Look knows. That. Yes, he knows I'm here. That's not your son, that's the dog. And he hears your voice, oh and he's trying to get to me. Do you think that's him? Yeah, I know yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. like, with him, okay. that's her. That's the boxer, uh -huh. okay. Thanks. So, like, when he wants some water, Exciting. you know those water coolers? Yeah, yeah. I have one with the puppy. He will go okay. sit, and he'll sit there quietly waiting for me to let him have water. How are they doing housebreaking wise? Any they accidents? have the doorbells, I'm going to show okay. you. Okay, fantastic. I'm no accidents then, yes? Oh, no yeah, accidents. no accidents. Okay, no. neither one of them. He, mm -hmm. I have a doggy door. Wonderful. She taught him okay. in about five minutes to go in and out, but I Wonderful. don't use it anymore. You don't, okay. Because as big as they are, mm -hmm. I have a little backyard. They've torn my backyard okay. up. Okay, and the, the dirt. mud and everything, yeah. gumbo. So it's now hard. I have, you'll see on the inside, okay. there's a doggy door. Okay. When he wants to go for a walk, not to potty, a walk. Out here? In on the neighborhood? The leash, okay. And we take him around the neighborhood. Okay. He will push this one. It's on the inside of the okay, house. Okay, interesting. Now the boxer, she's uh -huh. exceptionally smart. She's mm -hmm. scared to death to go out. She just started this okay. year. Now she'll push when she wants to go for a walk. Okay. Not very often, but when she does, it's done. Okay. Now when they need to go potty, it's the mm -hmm. ones in the back. Okay. And I'll show you. I'll show okay, you. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So they're gonna be. Don't, right. Listen, I, I want them to be as I want them to be as bad as they could possibly be, Matt. Oh. Okay. So if they're going to be behaved, then there's no purpose of me being here. Like, you know, I want to see them at their worst so that I have a gauge. Okay, so be, I'm excited Welcome. about it. Yeah. Yes. Thank well. you so much. Let's make it happen. Good. Oh, good I job. I like what you did there. So I like what you did there. Back. I like what you did back. there. He's big. Oh shit, he's really big. And he's friendly. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, he's, he's just really a big. To say hello. Have a he's just a puppy. Good. Okay. Damn. He boy. doesn't bite. No, no. He doesn't. There's the. There. People don't know. Can we turn some lights on the music? Oh, yeah, yeah. Please. He's gonna jump. Are okay. You okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Right, right, yeah. I just want to see him. Oh my God, he's gorgeous. Hey. Oh. Oh Gabe. my God. Gay. And you, you behave the way you normally do, please. Okay. You do what you normally do. No jump. Sit. Okay. Sit. 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 No jump. No what is her name? River. River. Okay. No. No jump. What? No jump. Okay. 
And and you're behaving you're behaving the way you normally do. Yes, ma'am. Do what you normally Nine, do, okay? Yeah. Do what you normally do. You're really strong. Stop. Sit. Hi, baby. Sit. Good Listen. Sit, my dear. No. Okay. Oh, he's formidable. No I mean, he looks like a teddy bear. He looks like a stuffed he animal. Is he's handsome. Oh, oh, he's really beautiful. He's very handsome. What a pretty no. dog. Hi, baby. She's really pretty. Okay. So he's a lot. He's a lot. He's a lot. Okay. I, who's, who's growling there? Did, did you hear a growl? That was she her. does it. That was her growling? Okay. She does it. It's communication that okay. she's got his back. Okay. okay. Wow, he's gorgeous, dude. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to And he's just a teddy. All he wants to do yeah. is jump up and love you. His coat is so beautiful. So I'm going to let him go. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Hi, baby. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. He's licking the camera. He's saying hello yeah. to everybody. How so, beautiful. Wow, and, and it's gonna be five and a half months old right after Christmas. Yes. Okay. Right here when they want to go walk. Mm -hmm. And look, 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 look. Yeah, so he's just, so, Okay, so, so, so did you see the new Yeah, yeah. So this is the thing what I want to tell you is, so you're thinking that maybe tomorrow, or maybe even later tonight, he's gonna be behaving like this with me and Cranberry, yeah? And I'm saying it might take him a week or two to first start nibbling on us, or so jumping. to stop the uh -huh. clamp down for the pain? See, he's uh -huh. hurt me, right? No, 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 but he... Let me show you the Gage, come here, come. Okay, so you have to, for me, yeah, you yeah. have to develop trust. Okay, yeah. So good. he used to bring blood, and the way I would do that is I'd go all the way back, and it okay. hurts. And Hell I'm yeah, it hurts. Stop. And now your, your he'll, is, now okay. it's trust. Okay, well, you're still very useful because your skin doesn't yeah. break as quickly as other people do, yeah? <laughs> so listen, is that, yes, that, that method will my work, but your mileage is going to vary, yeah? She's my a, adrenaline. She, she's intense, yes, yeah? so you gotta, so, trust me, I've spoken to her a little bit. You gotta, you, that will work. You just with, be caught, you know, exercise with caution, yeah. yeah? With me, he listens sometimes mm -hmm. just because he has pissed me off and He's I have funny, picked dude. him up and dropped yeah. his ass real quick. I listen, you're not Gage. I agree with everything that you're doing. I well, I agree with a lot Gage. of the, I agree with a lot of the physicality. No, you would actually do really good with a corso because if you're a corso, you need to be a little physical with them. And I you're you're no, I'm gonna stop. tell you something. Your, no. your instincts are really good. There are some things that I'm going to change in time with what you're doing, but may I tell you, I'm very impressed by your grit. Like you are, no. I'm very impressed by your grit. So, so, so this is going to be a, a good case study because, so there's a lot of what you're doing will make a lesser dog behave really well. But may I tell you, he's not a punk. No, he's not. He, he's so, a handful. So you, when you told me show lines, I can see the beauty in him, but he's got almost like working dog line drives. Yeah, he's that's what I'm saying. Pump Both up, of boy. Them are he's trying. pumped up. He's got, and not in a bad way. I'm saying like, man, I tell you, I'm so thankful that he's behaving this way. It's worse when the dogs are timid and nervous and scared. I'm actually Sit. more stressed about training her if she's timid than him. And you're doing a hell of a job. You're 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 intense. Yeah, I like it. I think we're gonna have a lot of success. Now, because you're close to me, we're going to be able to do a lot of follow-up classes. So we're going to be able to get these dogs off leash, trained, conditioned. There's no reason they're not going to be at a good level. Now, uh, let me ask you something. How often do you have company over? Um. Well, my uncle <laughs> tries okay. to come over all the time. But th he's like this. You're overwhelming. Yeah. So. Okay. He's growing out of these. This is my goal is to get him out of the kennel. Okay. Yeah. This is a big. This is a good size kennel. Yeah. Beautiful. So he's growing out. On a good day, we put mm -hmm. them together. Now, okay. I will tell you mm -hmm. that he is going to cry like a titty baby okay. when well, they're out you, of the house and they're not in the pen together. No, well, I'm, I'm hoping to put them in like in an eight by eight or something together. Oh, yeah. Now, would you rather be kennel them separately? I want you to do what you think. I would rather them be together. Yeah. Now, and, and keep yeah. in mind that she might nip him, he might nip her. Oh, they just, do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, but just look keep, at wow, her that name. Dog She's got scars all that over. Looks, it's because he's such a clutch. Look, I got goosebumps. Yeah. That boxer is gorgeous. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 I got goosebumps. The boxer uh, is unbelievably gorgeous. They're River. both gorgeous. River. They're both beautiful. Come, here. Come. sit. What a pretty Good girl. girl. Good girl. Yeah, he's really thick. Yeah. And he still has his beautiful testicles, yes? Oh, yeah. Okay, wonderful, you yeah. Know, the, and I know you know oh, bigger dogs, you beautiful. cannot... Yeah, they stay, mature a lot slower. You can't neuter them until they're yeah. three. Well, listen, I, so I'm not to be Mr. Unpopular here, but yeah. if you do your research about neutering, it's actually not the healthiest thing to do to a male dog, right. believe it or not. And it's I'm just, not going to neuter So it's a myth, yes. but I, I, the, the one thing about neutering a dog... And listen, so I'm not running from him, I just want to... I'm no, looking I to see his reaction, but the one thing that... um. That I will say is that, yeah, at least let your dog kind of mature a little bit before you neuter them like him, especially a big breed like him. Otherwise, he, yeah, he's just not going to come up the way. Now, he loves to go for walks. He likes 
Oh. Come here. Has, she does it. Has she been spayed? It's has, the camera. Yeah, has she been spayed? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, that's a good color. Yeah. No, no, yeah. And, and listen, you're you're smart enough to understand it's a camera. A lot of times people say, we've never had that like before, but how it's often is somebody pushing something yeah, up against your face? Well, yeah? here, can I tell you why? Yes, ma'am. Here's the reason why. Number one, you're mm -hmm. close to him. Okay, so she knows his thing? disability and she mm -hmm. guards him. Okay. So. Yeah. But it's that camera because she doesn't know what it is. Him, he's nosy. Well, but see, let me show you something. Put the camera back. Oh, she's watching the camera. Oh, she's watching the pan too. Okay, yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's. So Ooh. see, if I touch her, it's all right. It's all right. So okay. I'm gonna take the yeah. sit. Oh, no. So handsome! What a beautiful set. Yeah. I really appreciate that sitting. Wow, you are so handsome. Yeah, this sit. is their bed. This Good. is okay. okay. She's pumped up. It's okay. And I'm gonna teach you these things because she's coming with me for yeah. training. But may I tell you? So just so you know this, yes. So right now, everything that you guys are doing is reinforcing the aggression. You're oh, are we? Yes, ma'am. Right. So listen. So if I was here teaching her to be a guard dog, you're doing everything that I want you to do. Yeah, and I want so, them to do. Yes, ma'am. But. But because I, the little man here, of when course, I'm not but here. when you're not here, but listen, that, that is not the case right now. Right. So right now she's being irrational. Right. No different than if your son all of a sudden started flipping me off, telling me to get the F out, and I'm a guest. I'm here, you invited me here. So she's being irrational, although yeah. overly protective, irrational, and he's being very and welcoming. Can I tell you, mm -hmm. and it's, you know how oh, it is with house. animals and personality? Yeah. Do you want me to tell you why she's being that way? Irrational? Think, oh, yes, ma'am. Because yeah. you got the camera. If you walk out and come well, back in, but listen, it's not Karen, so aggressive. No, no, no offense, yeah. Karen. So you can tell me what you think, but that doesn't mean that it's true. Okay? No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. That's what I'm saying. This is the reality of it is. I, because listen, I would be willing to bet that if you took her over there to the room, it's so beautiful in here. If you took her over there to one of those areas yeah. and I walked upon her, she's going to act the same way. Yeah. You see the what I mean? reason why I say that, because mm -hmm. my uncle can walk in. And she's okay when he's been but in there. Habituated but when he goes out and gets a hammer, he has to put the hammer in my oh, hand. Oh, great observation. You understand? Great observation. So I'm Good observation. raising her. It's Good because you got the camera in okay. your hand. Good observation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You just got to be careful with that because, yeah. listen, somebody can come in here and pick up their phone to respond to somebody. Exactly. And she's like, hey, man, burn the world. Yeah. You got to get the hell out of my house, all right? So that's why... So, so he's being very, very nosy, which is that he's inquisitive. So uh, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. If he's behaving this way, there's no way she's going to be acclimated today. She's yeah. going to go through a week at least, okay? But if he's oh, acclimated by the end of the day, what a blessing. Because then he starts to move ahead with different things like no. food trips. No. He's not afraid of you. No, oh, no, no he's, he's, not not, you. he's not afraid. Mm -hmm. But and he does. Sometimes he'll try. Good See, sit. good down, my love. Now here's his attitude. Handsome. Here's his attitude. Mm -hmm. He knows I told him he couldn't touch it, right? but he'll lay by it. But man, and he does that in here. I'll tell him like the tree. I'll well, tell him no, no. But Karen, let's check your attitude. You know why? Because he's I tell showing you? me. He's no, 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 ma'am. But may I tell you? This is where I told you about the good work theory. Uh -huh. He's showing you that he understands you, you don't want him to mess with it. So you know what I would have done? I would have walked over to him and hugged him and pet him under the chin and kissed him for leaving it alone. Mm -hmm. Leaving it alone. Is the same whether he's an inch from it or five feet from it, madam. Good, 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 good. Come free, my love. Come here. Easy. Oh, Easy. So this is the thing, okay? So what I'm saying to you is that I saw a dog going over there, and to me it seemed like he was showing off. Hey, look how good I live. And she tells me leave us alone. I leave alone. You see what I mean? So that's what I'm saying to you. And I want you to understand something. No. Observation creates reality. I tell you the mm -hmm. truth. Because this is the thing, yes? Is if if we're only if we're only paying attention to our dogs when they're misbehaving, then they're going to misbehave for attention. Do you see can what I, I mean? Can I tell you yes, something? Ma we may do? be doing a lot wrong, but these dogs get me But madam, you're not doing, you're not doing, yeah. you're innocent in all of this. Right. I, and, and it's all, so listen, I want you to understand that everybody watching out there, it doesn't matter what any trainer says. No, you're, nobody out there is doing anything wrong. You're doing what you're called to do and what you feel. You're doing something wrong if you know better and aren't doing it. So the only sin in life, in my opinion, is knowing what to do and not doing it. So if you are called to do handle the dog the way you're handling it, who am I to tell you to handle your dog differently, madam? You're the power here. I'm going to show you your power, yeah? So that's why we're here. That's where we're going to make it happen. What a gorgeous animal. I'm telling you right now, he's got a lot of potential, yes? Yeah. I just have to... And, and may I tell you, if more people with conic corsos handled their dog the way you handled him, I wouldn't have as many of them on my hands for training. So the... So you're doing a lot right. It's just every dog is different.
the way you handle him is probably not appropriate for her no, and vice sorry. versa. Mm -hmm. and, and you see how she's stopping him from biting her? That shit works, okay? But guess hey, what? Did you hear she's me? got a ton, she's no. got a lot of grit. You may not be built. You're like a Valkyrie, okay? Most people may not be built like you where they're willing to do what you're doing there, but it does work. So what you're doing there does work, believe it or not. It, it's just time and persistence and he's a willful dog. But this is the reality of it. There are other ways of making him stop doing that. And those, and that's why I'm here. I'm going to start showing him those different things because I tell you, so the way that you're handling that, I'm never going to handle them that way, but I won't have a need to. And I'm going to show you how to handle them, how to handle them the way I handle them. But that being said, the way that you're doing it is still appropriate. You can sit. Don't overpower. Yeah. yeah, he's a lot. Yeah. Okay. And then see, like right now, I, I, I don't know them enough to know what she's thinking. You know them better. Yeah. Uh, he's happy and everything. So she is a little bit concerned about me. But again, it could be this. And we'll find out also when I stop filming. Yeah. So, they, so they do have a bell system here, you said. Yeah. It's really beautiful in here. Where do is you the... Need to, do you need to go potty? Do you need to go potty? Let's go. Let's go. Jamie, sit. Good, you're good. Let's go potty. Let's go. Come on. Good, good, good. Let's good, go potty. Let's go. Good. Handsome. So this is their water, because I before they oh. go outside, I can, hey. He, lo he loves the camera, coincidentally, okay? Oh. He loves the it. camera. And, right and the camera loves him. He's handsome. Hey, right here. Good. That's awesome. <laughs> is that is that made for dogs? Well, this is our water. Okay. This is theirs. How did that? I've never seen Lowe's. one of these. Yeah. I love that. Do you like that? See, we get our water yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And then his is Oh there. my God, I gotta get one of those. I love that. Wow, I've never seen this one. This one I bought at Walmart. I'm so, so charmed. Yeah. That's fantastic. You're so handsome. Okay. He says, oh, I want, okay. And this is the bells. This so is, here, I see the bell. oh. do you wanna go outside? Push. Now he refuses to use his nose, okay. but he'll rub it. Perfect, but listen, that's fine though. Here we go. Good job. Go potty. Now, if I'm not in here, uh -huh. Oh, there it is, right there on the door, or he opens the handle. See? How smart. Good potty, my love. Oh, it's nice out here. It's really nice. Yeah. You're doing a great they job. Torn my, the side of the house, running, because they get out here, they just, they've torn that Handsome. Out. You know, you, you've done, listen, now, you're doing a lot right, okay? When so, we're going in, stay right there, if yes, you will, because I don't uh -huh. have enough room. Okay. So stay right there. Jesus, Gage, that's amazing. Gage, come. Right here. Sit. Sit. All right, thank you. We wipe our paws before we go in the house. Okay. No play. We'll start doing that with them too. No play. So we'll keep that up, brother. Because I can't have the mud in the house. Yeah, he's a big boy. All right, here. His coat is probably pretty all weather though, huh? Like. Yeah, did I have get... him cut all the time, trimmed. He did just he? got groomed. Where do you take him? Greg's okay. downtown. D downtown, like. They clip uh, or downtown? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 On the border. Downtown Houston. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's on the border. Okay. He's really beautiful. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Hi, my dear. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, baby. River. Hi, baby. Oh, will you step back to the camp? Yes, She's just finished. Come yes, here. Come. No, good, 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 here. River. Come here, River. It's okay. Pretty. Right. She's just going to be nervous. Let me, let me take yes, her out. Come here. It's okay. Have some good water. Yeah, this is unbelievable, this thing. That's really cool, too. Okay. No, you're gonna go potty. He's not gonna bite you. You're doing okay. good. I like I like a lot of what you're doing. There's very listen, I'm very impressed with your handling, okay? I'm very impressed with a lot that you've accomplished. I have a good feeling yeah. that you're going go to potty. No, go potty. You Just and your dogs potty. are gonna overachieve, okay? For sure. No. Good, good, good. Let's see if he opens the door. Let's see what he tries to do. You like the camera, huh? He likes it. He's a handsome dog. So, you know, my main issue only, she's doing a lot right with her physicality. There's just a lot of words being issued. And, you know, in scripture it says, he who orders his conversations rightly, to them I will send salvation. So that's, her salvation comes from being more reticent, being more quiet. I love her physicality. Go to Jamie. That dog is so gorgeous. Here, it's okay. Oh yeah, what a what a beautiful dog! Listen, I, you're doing so much right. I tell you, like. So you don't think I'm just off a hundred? No, ma'am. I think you're. Oh, I think you're doing better than the average person. I think that you're. I think that you and your dogs are going to overachieve. I think the only hurdle that we're going to have is getting her to acclimate. I feel like yeah. 
if I had to guess, two, three days maybe, he's done and he's, he's ready to go. He's a big teddy bear. Uh, he's he'll gonna get, get to play. Do, yeah, he'll he's gonna do what get to play with other dogs. And Does he hike his leg yet? I don't allow it. What do you mean? So, no, he no, I don't mean in the house. Does him. he hike his leg outside in the yard? No. He, he doesn't? No, he stinks. He just stinks. Okay. Well, that's coming outside. You don't oh, want to hike his leg inside, but outside it's going to happen. Hey. It's okay. Okay, so you see that sound? And I just use regular dog food. Right, so that sound is like classical conditioning, yeah? So the dogs are, they hear that sound uh -huh. and they're anticipating the Gage, treat because Gage. of that sound. No, okay? come here. So fundamentally, what she's doing is very sound. So uh -huh. we're going to change the way we're River. doing it, yeah? River. She got big, big bones too, though. River. She's a good size. Her bones are pretty, pretty big. doing is right no sit down baby yeah she's, she's well no a lot of what you're doing is right there's just a few things i would change but you're doing a lot really well okay so you're doing you you, you understand dogs innately i would say because you're doing a lot of things that i, okay. I agree with completely um we just kind of we're just going to modify some things but i tell you you should be very proud of yourself i i, I tell you the truth I, if you didn't have your career and if you had three or four other like let's say you already have you still have three or four of your rottweilers that you used to breed that were well trained there's no reason why you can accomplish what i'm going to accomplish it's just the, it's just listen like uh, like a doctor house calls they're limited on what they could do at a house call so it's you know you the same thing with them but that dog is big you're not messing around right. he's a big boy one of the biggest problems i have with him but he's learning because mm -hmm. he's learning the hard way my way okay is no surfing okay. he's a counter surfer Oh, he likes to try of when course, he doesn't okay. get his way, but... And he's food motivated, yes? Very um, much so. Oh, obviously. yeah, they okay. love treats, but okay. sometimes you have to be careful they give them diarrhea. Okay. That's why, you know, like okay. anything at Old Roy, we'll give them diarrhea. Okay. We don't do it Old Roy. Okay, is it, uh, well, maybe not like Old Roy pig ears or something. Those are, they're just pig ears and they're just yeah. manufactured by Old Roy. Yeah, they haven't had those. Okay, so, they, uh, and, and I'm going to go over that here shortly, yeah. maybe off camera, but they are going to need some edibles. Yeah. So if you're not giving them edibles now, I'll go over what edibles are, okay? Well, let's go over it now Excuse so people me. at home can learn. Wow, Chicken. I'm really impressed. I feel like I should be doing a magazine shoot or something. This is you're like my organization See down. This? this is dehydrated okay. chicken so jerky. Tell you, so those are treats. Everything you're showing yeah. me so far are wonderful treats, okay? Yeah. But we need edibles. So edibles would be uh, things that you give to them that people call chew toys. But oh. Do you see this? Yes, ma'am, but see, those are chew toys now, but those to me I used to call play toys. Yeah. So edibles are things that, like a bully stick, a pig ear, oh. a cow's hoof. Yeah. So all of those things are not, so may I tell you, you would have a lot more success if you were providing edibles no, for them. No, sir. Because these are just toys. Dogs Do you have know, a, this what? right here? Mm -hmm. Anybody ask you the best do ball to buy that won't okay. tear up? That Do you know what this is? No. This is what you use for guns. Oh, wonderful. He yeah. cut his teeth on Cranberry would probably know that. But listen, about no, what sorry. you just said about a ball that won't be tore up, I tell you, buy your dogs toys that they can tear up that they won't eat. We play you, soccer. Your dogs need things to chew on that they can destroy. Yeah. So if this rope here, if your dogs yep. were destroying that rope and not eating it, it would be a good... So that would be a good chew toy, but they need edibles. So they need like bully sticks or pig ears. Yeah. So, I mean, I tell you, a lot of people the are... The problem are, with those, can I tell you? Yeah, they can get the gastric torsion and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. She gets diarrhea really, really bad. Any of those, I've tried them. Okay. This one, he's gotten diarrhea twice. Mm -hmm. So... But, I'm going to tell you the truth. Yes. It's, it's because you're just not exposing them to the culture enough. Oh, don't have, okay. It's kind of like a vegetarian. Yeah. If you go vegan for a year, and then after a year, you go and sit down and get order prime yeah. rib, you're gonna have a hard ass time. You go to Mexico and drink the water there, you're gonna have a hard ass time. True. So I tell you, like, you know, with, with my dogs, they got ironclad stomachs, and your dogs are gonna have ironclad stomachs after being with me because I'm gonna go through it. No. But I tell you, they need edibles. So, like, bully sticks, pig ears. And I'm even gonna say something that pisses a lot of people off, but I don't care. 
even rawhide if you're on a budget and you can't afford anything give your dog rawhide but don't make the mistake of buying them rawhide flips so what happens is a lot of rawhide gets a really bad name because dogs will swallow it when it becomes a choking hazard yeah so you have to do good sit my love you have to know your dog's chewing habits if you have a voracious chewer and you give them a rawhide flip that is basically like two inches square the dog's going to have a problem with it it's going to they're going to get an obstruction in their stomach but i'll like my corsos you saw my corsos I'll give them a rawhide bone that is really huge, that's maybe like 12 inches big and really heavy, and I take it away when it becomes the size of a softball. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? I do. So then it's never a choking hazard. Now, as my finances have gotten better, I don't do rawhide as much, but guess what? Back in the good old days when I was real poor, I was giving my dogs rawhide. Wow. This is another thing that I would recommend that we're gonna do with your babies as well, yes? Uh, and it's gonna be very affordable for you, and you don't even have to do it, but I'm gonna do it sometimes I'm telling you the truth before you enroll them, is they need even chicken, they need frozen raw meats and bones, raw. Yep. So do you know like, um, right now- I what, do that sometimes. So I'll do like chicken thigh leg quarters yep. that are frozen or drumsticks. Do you see what I mean? Like mm -hmm. uh, chicken drumsticks. Now again, a lot of people think, well chicken, I heard you can't give it to a dog. That is true. You can if it's not cooked. Amen. So if they're malleable and River. nutritious, if they're raw, it's when they're cooked that they splinter, okay? So those are the, uh, so a, a, a frozen chicken thigh leg quarter or drumstick, I consider that an edible as well and not a meal because that's something that you're giving to them to exercise their gums. What I'm saying to you is that dogs, when they chew on things and specifically destroy them, it, it makes pleasure happen. It relieves stress. You don't believe me? Give your dogs a toilet paper or a paper towel and tell them, go to town. Make it clear to them that it's okay to shred it. They're literally going to be buzzing when they get done. Right. They're going to be like, oh, they're going to be in a euphoric state. Especially if, if you walk in and then you look at them and you say, oh my God, so good. You did such a great job tearing that up. They're going to feel like, what in the fuck has happened to my mom? She understands me finally. Yeah. So I tell you, I have dogs that I give my own dogs. I'll buy them like stuffed animals at, at discount thrift stores and stuff and give it to them. And they tear them all up and it looks like Christmas. But I, that's an appropriate toy for them because they don't eat the stuffing. So again, the dogs need something to destroy. They're doing a great job. You're doing a great job because it's pristine in here. I swear to God, you would not know dogs live here other than by inferring from the I toys. I can't smell, so you don't smell dog either, right? No, man, there's no okay. dog smell in here. It smells delightful. Well, I, well, it smells you. like Christmas, and it's gorgeous in here. There's no, you're doing a great job. Like you, you're doing a great job. It does not. Yeah, they smell have like a million toys. Man, I, I, I listen. I would tell you if it smelled in here because I would tell you there's a problem in here. Your dogs are pissing in here, and you don't know oh, it. Oh no. I I would love to say that to you on video. I would love to say, Karen. Your dogs are pissing all over this house and you don't realize it. But it's not true. No, you're doing a hell of a job. I know what they do all the time. No, but you know, like, you know, a lot of times when, and, and if you're not able to smell, then I guess you wouldn't realize this, but, River. you know, people no, only, the only thing you really smell are things that your nose is not habituated to. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you, you, you'll remember smells so much that you're not aware of them, you know? So that's what I'm saying. So like, my shop doesn't smell like dogs to me, but I bet it does. All right. Good, good. So you're doing a good job. Do you have any questions about this? They're going to be with me for, uh, they're coming into my three week program. Yes, and that three-week three program week or did you is going to, to be, well, yes, ma'am, it's going to be three weeks, but we're talking about acclimation, remember? So there's going to be that, okay. so you're actually going to be doing, we're, we're looking at, it's probably going to be more like a five-week thing. Mm -hmm. So there's acclimation. So what I meant by three weeks is we're looking at a three-week training program post-acclimation, okay? Very good. Do you have any questions about any of that? My you're gonna do a great job. <laughs> you're so close to us. It's gonna be a blessing. Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and pull the bell so you'll be notified when I upload their very first training video. Yeah, the training video is probably gonna come at different intervals because he's probably gonna be ready to go sooner than she is. We're gonna do a lot of bonding. You're gonna get to see it. And of course, if you don't already, you should follow us on Instagram. You can see daily updates on our stories. The videos that we upload on YouTube are oftentimes a week or so behind. So that'll check it out. All of that can be found on TikTok, Instagram, The Dog Messiah. We update daily. If you haven't already, like I said, please do subscribe and paw the bell. Let me know what you think about these beautiful dogs. Are they your dream dogs? He wants you to touch oh, your ball. You want me to touch your ball? Hey, listen, I'm, mind, I'm not judging you either. Good, good, good. I'm not judging you. Awesome. Look, I'm scaring her. Good, good, good. So handsome, my love. Awesome. Thank you all so much. Good, good, good. Oh, that really pissed her off when I went at brother. Look, 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 when I went at brother. When I touched brother with my camera, it really pissed her off. I got goosebumps. Yeah, you believe me? Yeah, yeah. She got pissed, boy. She got that like a hammer, huh?
Hey, you just missed it. Yeah. Did you see him oh. push her back? Yeah, yeah. I saw it. I missed it with the camera, but I saw it. I, I noticed from his. Like, look, he's telling her, he's basically saying, Be, you're being irrational. It's okay. It's okay. No, he's, he's trying to tell her you're being no irrational. No bark. But let me. So let me take a so He's handing it like a king. Like a dog. He didn't bark at her. So see, and you're barking at her. So no offense, but it's kind of like a chihuahua. You know, a chihuahua barks because they're frustrated. He's handling it dominantly. So he's handling her the way you handled him earlier when he was all up in my business. Yeah. Do you see that? It's the same thing. So you, so a lot of your instincts are proper, madam. I'm excited, yeah? Bless you all. Wow, I can't believe I caught that on film. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. We just got here. She was very docile. She was nervous, but she let me reach out for her. And then as soon as I grabbed the leash, she kind of came alive. So she's doing really good. We're gonna let him check his P-mail and then we're gonna put them up. So far, so good, yeah? Oh, she pumped up. Look at her, she pumped up to the dogs. She's not no punk, good, 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 good. She seems to be very happy and she likes dogs. What a pretty girl. Good, good, good. That's interesting. I was, I was not expecting that. This is the dog from South Carolina that I sent mom a video of, look. I was not expecting that. Good, good, good. What a pretty girl. Awesome, huh? Good, good, good. Pretty, good, good. So be angry, but sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. But when they do it, they are intent in the doing. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I'll spew you out. Would that you're either hot or cold. But because that you are lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't do anything if you're lukewarm. You must be intense about it. No matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. For this I was born. For this I came into the world. I need to duck. 